Greetings and salutations, soldiers and tech enthusiasts alike. The Hunter Armored Fighting Vehicle, AFV, represents a significant technological leap for the Singapore Army, as it is their first fully digitized platform integrated with advanced C4, command, control, communications, and computer systems. Developed to meet the evolving challenges of modern warfare, the Hunter AFV combines cutting-edge technology, enhanced situational awareness, and improved command capabilities to enhance the Army's operational effectiveness. The vehicle's crew can rapidly transmit and receive critical information, including intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, ISR data, mission updates and tactical orders, ensuring a synchronized and coordinated response. The JLTV, or Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, is a modern and highly capable military vehicle that combines enhanced mobility, advanced protection, and versatile mission capabilities. Developed by Oshkosh Defense, the JLTV represents a significant advancement in the field of light tactical vehicles, providing enhanced performance and survivability for military forces. In addition to its robust design and protection features, the JLTV is equipped with advanced communication and network integration capabilities. This enables seamless integration into modern command and control systems, facilitating real-time information exchange and enhancing situational awareness for the crew and other friendly forces. The M109 Paladin is a self-propelled artillery system that has been in service with the United States Army since the 1960s. It is a highly versatile and mobile platform that can provide accurate and devastating firepower to ground troops. One of the key features of the Paladin system is its mobility. The track chassis allows it to move easily across different types of terrain, and the howitzer can be fired while on the move. The Paladin also has a range of self-protection features, including smoke grenade launchers and a machine gun for close defense. The M113 Armored Personnel Carrier APC, is a versatile and widely used military vehicle designed for troop transport and battlefield mobility. It has been in service with various armed forces around the world since its introduction in the 1960s. The M113 has proven itself as a reliable and adaptable platform, with numerous variants developed to fulfill a range of mission requirements. The vehicle can accommodate a driver and a crew of up to 11 fully equipped soldiers, including a commander and a gunner. The M1224 Max Pro is a mine-resistant, ambush-protected MRAP vehicle developed by Navistar Defense. It was designed to provide enhanced protection and survivability for military personnel operating in high-threat environments, particularly against improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and ambushes. The Max Pro has been widely used by the United States military and other allied forces in various conflict zones. The vehicle can accommodate a crew of up to six personnel, including a driver, a commander, and four additional passengers. It provides spacious and well-protected seating arrangements with ballistic protection against small arms fire and shrapnel. The MQ-20 Predator Sea Avenger is an advanced unmanned aerial vehicle developed by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems for the United States Air Force. It is an upgraded version of the MQ-9 Reaper drone and is designed to operate in high-risk environments and conduct a range of missions. One of the key features of the MQ-20 Predator Sea Avenger is its stealth capabilities. It is designed to be low observable, meaning that it can operate in contested airspace without being detected by enemy radar systems. The Multi-Utility Tactical Transport, MUT, is a versatile unmanned ground vehicle, UGV, designed to provide support and enhance the capabilities of military forces in various operational scenarios. Developed to be adaptable and rugged, 
The MUT offers a range of functionalities and can be deployed in a wide range of missions. One of the key features of the MUT is its modular payload system, which allows for quick interchangeability of various mission-specific modules. These modules can include surveillance and reconnaissance systems, cargo carrying capabilities, communication equipment, weapon stations, or even medical equipment. The Navy LSAC Landing Craft Air Cushion is a unique and highly specialized hovercraft utilized by the United States Navy for ship-to-shore amphibious operations. It provides a critical capability for transporting personnel, vehicles, and equipment from naval vessels to coastal areas that lack traditional port facilities or have challenging terrain. The hovercraft's propulsion system consists of four powerful gas turbine engines, providing the necessary thrust to propel the craft over both land and water. Its large payload capacity enables it to carry a wide range of military vehicles, including main battle tanks, armored personnel carriers, trucks, and other heavy equipment. The Pandur II is a versatile wheeled armored vehicle designed and developed by the Austrian company Steyr Daimler Puch Spezial Fahrzeug GmbH, now known as General Dynamics European Land Systems. It is in service with several countries around the world, including Austria, Belgium, and Portugal. One of the key features of the Pandur II is its high level of mobility. It has a powerful engine and eight wheels, which allows it to traverse rough terrain and reach high speeds. It also has an amphibious capability which allows it to travel in water. The Panther KF-51 is a main battle tank that is currently being developed by Rheinmetall Land System, a part of Rheinmetall's Vehicle Systems Division. The tank was unveiled to the public on June 13, 2022, at the Eurosatory Defense Exhibition. KF stands for Kettenfahrzeug, meaning tracked vehicle. The innermost layer is made up of all welded steel armor covered by passive armor modules. The second layer comprises sensor-based reactive armor, while the final layer is made up of Rhine Metal's Active Defense System Active Protection System. The Patria AMV XP is available in several variants, including Armored Personnel Carrier, Infantry Fighting Vehicle, and Reconnaissance Vehicle. Its armor protection can be customized based on the user's requirements. It also has an amphibious capability. The Patria AMV XP has undergone several upgrades and improvements over the years, including the integration of new weapons and sensors and the addition of modular armor protection. It has proven to be a reliable and effective armored vehicle, and its versatility and mobility have made it a valuable asset for military and peacekeeping operations around the world. Rheinmetall Air Defense, a leading global provider of advanced air defense systems, has introduced an innovative solution known as Skynex. Skynex is a truck-mounted system specifically designed to engage and neutralize drone swarms, addressing the growing threat posed by unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, in modern warfare and security scenarios. The Skynex system combines advanced sensor technology, automated target recognition, and rapid engagement capabilities to detect, track, and neutralize hostile drones. Mounted on a truck platform, the system is highly mobile and can be quickly deployed to areas of interest or potential drone threats. The SPGH Dana is a highly mobile artillery system that was developed in the Czech Republic during the 1970s and 1980s. The acronym SPDH stands for Self-Propelled Gun Howitzer, while Dana refers to the Slavic goddess of fertility. The Dana has a range of approximately 18 kilometers and can fire up to eight rounds per minute. One of the key features of the SPDH Dana is its advanced fire control system, which includes a digital battlefield management system, a laser rangefinder, and a navigation system.
The T-129ATAK is a Turkish attack helicopter designed and manufactured by Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI. The helicopter is based on the Italian Augusta Westland AW-129 helicopter, but with several key modifications and upgrades to meet the specific needs of the Turkish military. It is a twin-engine helicopter with a four-bladed rotor system and a sleek aerodynamic design. It is equipped with advanced avionics and weapons systems, including a helmet-mounted display system, a forward-looking infrared sensor, a laser rangefinder and designator, and a variety of air-to-ground missiles and rockets. The Terex-2 Infantry Fighting Vehicle IFV, designed and manufactured by the Singaporean defense company ST Engineering. It is currently in service with the Singapore Armed Forces and has been exported to several other countries. The Terex-2 IFV also has a high level of mobility, thanks to its powerful engine and eight wheels, which allow it to traverse rough terrain and reach high speeds. It also has an amphibious capability, which allows it to travel in water at a speed of up to six knots. The Tulpar Infantry Fighting Vehicle, IFV, developed by Autocar, is a formidable armored vehicle that combines superior firepower, advanced protection, and excellent mobility. The Tulpar IFV utilizes modular add-on armor, which can be tailored to specific mission requirements, offering enhanced protection against modern battlefield threats. Additionally, the vehicle is equipped with active protection systems that can detect and intercept incoming projectiles, further bolstering its survivability on the battlefield. The Type 99 is a third-generation main battle tank that was designed and manufactured by the People's Republic of China. This tank features advanced armor protection, including composite and explosive reactive armor, which provides superior defense against all kinds of anti-tank weapons, including heat and APFSDS rounds. The tank also has an active protection system, which uses radar and other sensors to detect and intercept incoming missiles and rockets. With its superior armor, firepower, mobility, and communication capabilities, it is one of the most formidable tanks in the world and is a vital component of China's defense strategy. We appreciate you joining us on this journey through the world of military tech. To stay up to date with our latest content, please subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments section.